but so looking at this sentence, what is where do you find your verb? Do you recognize a verb in there? Right there. Apen? Yeah. Okay, so I'll put a verb over it. B. Do you remember what it means? It's one of those ones you have to memorize. Um not a no, I forgot what it is. Okay, so it means it means he, she, or it. Um, spoke. Okay. Spoke. Or, or said. Okay, now, do you see a subject? Um, I got the one. Right there. Which one? Taos. Yeah. Right? It's not the subject. And, and the reason why is because this ending, us, is not a nominative ending. Exactly. Oh, that's right. That's it's the first one that's feminine. Okay, this this here. Yes. Okay, so this is sorry, this is not good handwriting. This is that other, yeah. So which, so we have hey, I got they, Rene. Which one is the noun and the subject? Gune. Yeah, good. Because what kind of word is this? That's a, that's an adjective. It's an adjective. Again. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is an adjective. That means it can't be the subject, right? Right. Can't be the subject because it has its own function. Right. One of these. Yes. So, what case is hey agathe hune? Um, first person, first person singular. No, you're Nom not. nominative. I'm sorry. Nominative yeah. is the first one. Yeah, nominative. So these are all nominative. Right. All right. And there is just there's just one noun. That's nominative. Right. And so, as long as you have just one noun that's nominative, you don't have to deal with the predicate nominative thing. Okay. Well, the next one we'll do, we'll do a predicate nominative. Okay. Um, so, this is just the subject. It's not the predicate nominative. Okay. All right. And this adjective, what function of the adjective is it? Um, it's either attributive or substantival. Okay. How do you, how can you tell the difference? Um... Mm, I'm not sure. But I know because it has an article, it's one of those two. Good, because it's in the attributed position. Yeah. That's good. So the difference between them, basically, is that you ask yourself, okay, looking at this, or this adjective, mm -hmm. is there a word that it modifies, that it mimics in gender, number, and case? Yeah, the subject. The gunet. Yeah. So this modifies that. So that means because this is here and this modifies that, it's an attributive adjective. Okay. <clears throat> it's not standing alone. See that? Mm -hmm. It's not standing alone. It's got gune with it. It's actually modifying gune. It's taken gune's gender number and case and made itself For its own. Like that. Okay. So it's attributed. It's, de it's <coughs> dependent, not independent. And so, this is an attributive adjective. That's the function. So then, how do you translate just this? The agathe gune. Um, the good woman? The good woman. Good. The good woman. Okay. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't have any kind of is, like the woman is good, mm -hmm. because that's all predicate adjective stuff. Right. Don't do any of that. The good woman. Okay. Now the good woman spoke. And see how the verb, we saw the verb first. Right. And the verb told us that it was the, the subject has to be either a he or a she or an it. Right. So we know it's not an it and it's not a he. It's a she. It's a she. And for translation, we could leave this in, but we don't have to. Right. We could just simply say the woman spoke. Spoke. Right now, what about tus hagius? What kind of, um, first off, you, you need to parse it. So what um, gender number in case is it? Um, let's see. It's plural. It's plural. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, 
first person plural? No, you're thinking verbs again. Yeah, second person. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's so one way to do it is to look over here. It's hard. You have to have all these memorized. But, yeah. But over here is accusative. So it's accusative plural. Okay. Good. So it's accusative plural and it's masculine too. Okay. Masculine. So the accusative, what two functions could the accusative have? Um, and you can use your reference sheet down there too if you need to. I know it's kind of hard to see. Direct object or object of the preposition. Good. So every single word, every single word you, you parse right. and you get a case, it's going to give you two options. Right. In this one, you've got two options. You could, this could either be the direct object, or it could be the object of the preposition. Okay. How do you know which one it is? The way it's used in a sentence. Yeah, and what about this sentence? Is this the direct object or the object of the preposition? Um, I would say it's the direct object. Yeah, because where's the preposition? There's no preposition. There is no preposition. So it can't be the object of the preposition. Right. Good. That's the train of thought that should go through your head. Okay, so this is the direct object. All right, now we've got to ask the question, what kind of word is hagius? Is it a noun? Is it an adjective? Is it a pronoun? And this is basically all it is is a vocab question at that point. It's a noun? It looks like a noun, but it's not. It's actually from a word... Hagios. Hagie. Uh, yeah. Hagia. Does that ring any bells? Um, holy? Holy, yeah. Yes. So this is the holy. Alright. It means holy. Yeah. Now here's the question. So you're thinking, okay, if it's an adjective, then what function is it? Um, it's attributive. It's got attributive position. Yes. Good. And now the question is, does it have a noun that it, mo that it modifies in this sentence? I would say yes, because it would modify the woman. Well, it's not telling us that the woman is holy, though. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Okay. So it, does, so it doesn't have a noun it modifies. Nope. And the, the so it's attributive. Well, it's a tribute position. Yeah. It does it's not a, have a noun. It's standing alone. Right. Because there's no other us here. Right. And there's no other masculine plural accusative. Okay. Word. So it's standing alone. It's a substantival. Substantival, okay. Substantival adjective. See that? Does that make sense? Yes. And so now, the way that you translate it is the woman, the good woman, spoke then it's basically the... The holy? Yeah, the holy... And then this is the dot, dot, dot. It's the holy things. you got to supply it. Right. Maybe it's the holy words or the holy something. She said something and they were 